What's up guys, it's me Hunter Gunslinger here back with a brand new video and of course we're trying to get ourselves prepared for of course Destiny 2 second expansion pack was going to be released in the next couple of days. You can pre-download the game right now on your PlayStation account. Uh, we'll show that in a later video of how to do that. But in the meantime, let's talk about Isolation Protocol. That is the new game activity that a lot of people are talking about and there is some questions to be answered from, of course, this article I found on the PlayStation blog, questioning one of the developers about what is going to be happening with Isolation Protocol, how many people can play in this game, and how many people can, you know, activate this game mode, how many waves. If I'm not mistaken, in the last video we discussed that there's going to be seven waves in the Isolation Protocol. Now, to get ourselves prepared for Warmind, I will make a video later in the day talking about how to get yourself prepared to 335 or at least close to 330 just in time for uh, Expansion 2. Now, of course, the power level in this game, there's been pre reports that it's going to be very hard to get up to your power level. The recommendation power level for most activities that we're going to be playing is going to be 380 up to 385. And I'm going to show you some of the materials you need to have by Monday until, uh, until Expansion 2 comes in into play. But if you guys do like these videos, make sure that you subscribe for more details of Destiny 2 videos and run through gameplays in the near future. But at this point, I'm getting myself prepared to play Expansion 2 and playing some a little bit of Fortnite here and there. So that's why I haven't been playing too much walkthrough gameplays here and date. And I'm going to be discussing about my live stream that's going to be happening in the next couple of weeks or so. I'm going to be mostly streaming on Twitch, but I'll be more than helpful to do some live streams on YouTube gaming. But not to discuss anything about that, we're gonna discuss that in the future, not to get off topic. Let's talk about Isolation Protocol. Bungie itself did put out a video at 1 p.m. Eastern time, which is 10 p.m. Pacific time for most people today, discussing and showcasing Isolation Protocol. Now, the PlayStation uh, blog website did discuss about uh, Isolation Protocol, so we're gonna read some of the things that I feel like is gonna be important. I will leave the rest of the article in the description down below. But of course, Bungie, as you can see right now on your screen, had some uh, nice little insight about Isolation Protocol, and people said they might be dropping out some more videos going in into the weekend, or dropping some videos later tonight. We just have to watch out for that. All right, so this is from, of course, the PlayStation blog website, and I'm just going to pick apart some uh, key notes and answers and questions what they were, you know, discussing about isolation protocol. One of the questions that one of the interviewers from PlayStation said, what kind of loot will players earn from isolation protocol? Will players be able to earn max level loot from it? So that is like the key aspect of a lot of things that a lot of people have been discussing about the in-game content in Destiny 2 that it has been a problem for the over the past couple of years or past couple of months I won't say in Destiny 1 it was really easy to, to get some loot to get you to your max level the Iron Banner did help you out in Trials of Nine and of course there was some you know Prison of Elders and you know the rituals the richest rituals you guys kind of remember uh, all those activities kind of help you out with your power level so the in-game content was pretty easily and the loot wasn't so bad because the loot rate didn't drop as, how I put it in a sense, consistently how it is now. Um, a lot of people feel like the drop rate for loot nowadays is pretty easily. And at the same time, those same people that were complaining about not dropping enough, complaining about always oh, dropping too often. So, you know, Bungie listened to too much outside voices, too much from people who just now got into the community and not listened to the community. And now they have to go back to square one to kind of like balance it out. Say, okay, we want to give a drop rate, but not a drop rate too easily. So a lot of people have been wondering, oh, I don't have to do like the raids. I don't have to do this too much nightfall strikes. I can do isolation protocol. So this is what the, the developers said about the whole loot thing. You're going to get unique armor weapons, including new perks and vanity and weapons of rewards for playing Isolation Protocol alongside new public event rewards. Now, don't forget, when we get a new planet, there's always a new public event. So that's pretty unique. Uh, the unique armor is rewarded in a way that we have not done before. Players will earn the armor pieces in a specific order, one a week, until they collect the whole set. After they collect the whole set, it will set just an award random uh, random pieces. Each reward piece uh, reward will drop as an upgrade, like a piece of gear rewarded from completing a milestone. Also, we're making the weapons and vanity weapons from this event farmable. 
I'm really excited by the legendary sniper rifle you can get from this event, which has an amazing new perk that is super fun to use. Now, if you guys kind of see on your screen, I think he's talking about the sniper rifle that the Titan's holding in his hand that we've seen so far throughout the imagery they've been putting out for the past couple of weeks and past couple of days that they had their little summit event about War 2's live event on Twitch. So he's probably talking about that. Now, if you guys kind of remember, I remember the Archon Forage and the Core of Ores had that same type of effect. Like each week that you go in there, you have like a different weapon, a different type of style. But not he said this is the first time they ever did this. So you have to collect each unique armor set each week. The, probably he's he saying one a week so that means like each week you have to go in there each week to kind of get that armor set you just can't go in there you know grind your ass throughout the nights get up like whenever you whenever your start date for you for the release date of war mine you know start from like say 2 p.m eastern time and go through like the next day and think you can go and get that unique armor no that is just one a week that means one per week basically so that is kind of interesting um, I would like to see that. So, PlayStation kind of put it out there. It said, players will earn an armor piece in a specific order one a week until they collect the whole set. So, they want to keep the fans kind of driving back, keep the fan base kind of going each week. And, you know, a lot of these games are kind of doing that now. When You know, when you play Fortnite, each week there's different challenges and different things you can do to kind of complete. So, that's what they're kind of doing each week. It's kind of like complete these challenges and you get this unique reward and from this unique activity, which is really, really amazing. And I feel like it's some positive effects starting to come into the Destiny platform. Um, they will have season four and they feel a lot of people feel that it's going to be their big expansion pack heading into season four. So it's been really interesting. Another question he asks that a lot of people is really known for is, is it similar to the core of Oryx or the Archive Forge? What development team learned from those and how is it different? Now, this is what he said about this. The biggest difference between isolation protocols and those past activities are the difficult level and the loop rewarding rewarding players with. This time around, we expect three to five players at max, at max level to feel required, which give us more opportunity to reward more powerful and variety of loot. So that's the only difference between isolation protocol and core of Oryx. If you guys remember, you go into core Oryx and you, you know you turn in your little token, whatever the little token thing that we used to turn into, and we used to boo, and we used to shh, like that used to start up, and we used to go in there. So I kind of understand where he's coming from because the Court of Oryx and the Archon Forge. Their loot was a little bit different. It, they did drop some light level, and sometimes it didn't drop on the light level. That's the only difference between that. There weren't too much unique rewards you can get from the Court of Orts or the Archon Forge. I didn't remember any unique rewards you got from that. It's been so long I played Destiny 1. That's how long I've been playing Destiny 2 or other games. Um, I will go back in there and see how it was back then, but... At that point in time, it wasn't no unique reward. You didn't get no unique sniper. You got a, you know, a, a legendary Ingram or an exotic Ingram or something like that. And you, you get it at your power level, but there was no unique rewards. And during that past time, there was a lot of people in the Corvors. Everybody used to do that a lot. I mean, I used to go in there every day, just Corvors, Corvors, Corvors. But uh, the Archon Forge, there was people in there, but not much people. Um, the only similarities that I have with Isolation Protocol is it's going to be a fun activity. A lot of people is going to be doing it. And of course, the, the, the similarities to the Isolation Protocols, it reminds me of the Prison of Elders. The different ways you got that final boss you have to take down and go on to the next wave and then completely complete those waves and get that unique boss fight and I kind of remember those so it will have some similarities to it that's pretty interesting so that's the only difference about isolation protocol now another question he's been asking is, uh, the PlayStation Network is this, if nine players can, per uh, can participate how difficult are those challenges going to be are most players are going to be able to complete all the waves now that's another question that has been kind of like I've been questioning myself because, you know, it's going to be the first time. Everybody's going to be rushing through the campaign. Don't give a crap about the story. Going to be rushing through there and trying to complete um, 
of course, the isolation protocol. And it depends on how many of those nine people are really good at it. Now, a lot of people have been asking what is going to be the max level of those things. Now, our max level at this point on Tuesday is going to be 335 for some people or 330. And then once people start grinding out and start getting through those uh, campaign mode and start turning in, you know, uh, gunsmith materials and getting their kinetic mods and all that stuff, they're going to be ranking up their system pretty quickly. So for them, it's going to be really interesting. Now, for me, if you want to rank up your power system, make sure you get kinetic mods because right now, you know, the gunsmith is, is selling them right now. So I will stock up on those. Well, we will talk about those later, but stock up on those right now. Get yourself some kinetic mods because they will definitely help you out to boost up your power level to at least 330 or 335 by this weekend. But that's a really good question. How many people can participate in those uh, challenges and will it be difficult? Judging by like some of the, the things they were saying, it looks like it's gonna be difficult. I mean, there are gonna be seven waves of different challenge modes of different enemies. And then you have a chance to go back in there. I think if you fail wave four, you gotta start back at wave three or something like that, something they were saying. But this is what he said. First of all, all those waves and those events are near or at level cap, meaning at launch, most players feel pretty under level. We expect players to believe something like nine players would be required until they leveled up enough. Second, we deliberately tuned the isolation protocol to be achievable by most preparing coordinate max three level person fire team for the War My expansion pack. Taking on this event with other three people is herring but impossible. So any additional fire team who joins the event will leave the pressure on the core where gear or fire team coordinate their strategies for any giving waves. Finally, we believe that most players will have the opportunity to complete the event if they can find another group to coordinate with. The big reason that the event takes place in the public zone to give all kinds of players the opportunity to conclude with each other and tackle the other events together. So that's why they're not going to have like public events in public zones in that area. So let's say a fire team comes in, their max low is 335. Three more comes in at 335. Another three more comes in at 335. So that's, if I'm doing the math right, that's at least like nine people. At least I, I feel that way. And then boom, the event, and they can kind of help each other out. Now, if you're at 260 and you're at 270, your one friend's at 300, one friend's at 335, another friend's at 335, that ain't going to be enough. So that's why they kind of like coordinate in a way that they put it in a public zone. So let's say a three man fire team, 335, another one, 335, that's six, another one that's 335, that's nine. Boom, maybe they can help each other out, coordinate it properly. I don't know, but it depends. Everybody's going to be pretty much on mic on the fire team, so they probably can help each other out. So I don't know. We just have to see. How do we expect nine players to be able to coordinate with, with such challenging event in a public scene? You'd be very surprised. You'd be very surprised how the community can come together and go on from there. And, of course, he answered that question and the article will be in the description down below with everything he's talking about, of course, about isolation protocol, the nine-man team, and, of course, what rewards you get. So I just kind of, like, picked it apart, but, you know, I will leave the article down below so you guys can, you know, read alongside it and go from there. This type of event, isolation protocol, is especially for people who, like, solar players like me, who don't have time for nightfall strikes or trials or raids. And when we come home from work or school, we're tired, we want to jump on Destiny. We want an event that we just want to go in there, work together, and get some unique rewards. So isolation protocol is that type of work. Because I remember I used to come home from work and school jump on the Taken King. Sometimes like me and my friends would jump on together. We go into the Court of Orcs and boom, boom, boom. And we used to have a fun goddamn time. We used to be on mic like, yeah, let's go, let's do it. So we had a fun time with the Archon Forge and Prisons and Elders, the witches uh, rituals and of course uh, like I was saying the Court of Orcs. So we had a fun time like coming together and have like a really, really great time. Uh, I will leave the link in the description down below of Bungie talking about, uh, of course, the 
isolation protocol because I don't want to make this video long and boring for you guys. Uh, in the next video, for the next couple of days or so, in, in the next couple of weekends or so, uh, today, tomorrow, and of course Sunday, and heading into Monday, we're going to have some videos to get yourself prepared for Expansion Pack 2 on Tuesday, what you need to do, what kind of drinks you need to get, what kind of chicken wings, what kind of chips, all that necessary things that kind of help you survive for the week. Um, I'm off on Tuesday and Wednesday, so I'm going to have time to kind of play. Thursday, I might have some time to play because I'll go to work till 6. Friday, I will have time to play. Saturday, I think I'm going to have time to play. I just got to look at my schedule and see how it is. Uh, going in, I'll be next. I'll be off next weekend, so I'm going to have a lot of time to kind of play. And, of course, I'm sorry I haven't been posting too much videos here and there. There's so much news coming in for the past couple of days, so I want to make sure I get everything right, make sure I get everything prepared, write down my list, what you need to get prepared for Season 3, what you need to do, what you need to dismantle to kind of get these type of things, what kind of glimmer, what kind of legendary, you know, all those shards you need to get to kind of help you out in the meantime. If you guys have any questions or any concerns, let me know in the comment section down below. I will leave everything in the description down below, including the article, the video of Bungie discussing about isolation protocol, and yesterday's video discussing about uh the insights for the exotic weapons and the crucibles all those stuff will be in the description down below in the meantime i hope you guys have a blessed weekend and i hope you guys are staying safe out there